Okay, welcome back to Sub's Choice. Today I was thinking we should do a shot, quick, quick and dirty shot of a perfume bowl. Parfum. Do you have any focus on this camera? I have absolutely no idea. So this one we will shoot. It doesn't really matter what we are shooting, because what I really want to show today is a bit about the background and how easy it is to make it look fantastical. Today we are shooting with uh, Canon. Canon 5D Mark IV. Today I'm testing out Capture One. Everybody says it's a great uh, software, so let's try it out and see. Maybe as a photographer, it's very important to hang on a C stand and look cool. As usual, we start with with the camera to make sure we have a black canvas, black frame. We want to underexpose two, two, three stops if we like to raise the shadows in post, okay? So right now it's on ISO, 100, 125th of a second shutter speed and uh, the aperture is 2.8. I will take a shot without any flashes and what do we get? Yes, now we see that this LED lights goes in to the picture. We don't want that. We don't want them to, to mess up our nice picture because we want control with only flashes. I will put up the, the aperture a bit, maybe to like, uh, let's say 13. Okay, now we almost have a black frame. There is some reflections in this glass, but let's go for this. It's almost totally black. Today I was thinking that we should use a tabletop. This is a tabletop from uh, IKEA. And it's called uh, Glasholm. I don't know if they still make them. Maybe they do. They are, they are great. This, the other side, it's a glass, black glass table. And you can use it as a background when you shoot. It's great. The reason why it's upside down is because I destroyed the, the other side. Because I was doing a, a photo shoot for a magazine, watch Swiss watch magazine. And uh, I had an idea with this. I wanted to make sparks of fire. I mean, I wanted to, to make yeah, some sort of uh, sparks flying around. So I uh, put, it, put in a, a drill and then attached steel wool. And then I put it on and then I lit it on fire. And then, <laughs> and then it started to fly all over. Because was, I was making this as a background. The watch was in the foreground and I was doing like this and they're spinning around and then I was clicking the, the camera and the, with long shutter speed they fly all over the place and they landed this glowing burning small parts from this steel wool ended up here and they burn this glass it was so hot so they burned the glass so now it's like small holes in it yeah so don't do this I turn it upside down and I think it will work let's take another shot do we have a black frame? Yes, almost. So, how do we start? We need to light this nice bottle, of course. So, let's put up a light. This is the hard part to know. <coughs> Crappy shit. The hard part is to know where to place the light, yeah? Just have a bare flash. So now the flash is on and let's take, let's just hit the product with some light and push flash. What do we get? There we go. Well, what do you think? A bit overexposed, maybe we can turn down the power a bit. It's, it's kind of nice, but isn't there anywhere else I can place this flash where the product will look nicer? Well, I build this tool this is a very great tool to know where to put the flash because if you see the camera i just this is the angle of the camera you see like like that and if i should try if i try to not to spill out the coffee and uh, I want to recreate this angle like that and then I lock this. Now I have the angle of the camera and then I'll turn it around like that. 
And this is how I know where to place the flash. It should be placed somewhere along this line. It can even be placed up in the roof there, because it's exactly the same angle as the camera. I have a white roof here. Maybe if I shoot the flash up there, what will happen? I will take the flash and shoot it along this angle up there. Maybe somewhere around there. Starting to be a bit more interesting, I would say. Because this is... Maybe I can put on this um, modifier to get it a bit more spotted. And raise it up. Like, let's create like a spot there. Take shot. See? This uh, surface right now, it's a bit matte. So it's not highly reflective. But if you had like uh, something reflective... Okay, we can take this golden paper. If I place that, like that, maybe, test shot, you see, a bit, let's put down the power, too bright, put down, it's extremely reflective actually, <laughs> oh, it's minimum, well, do you, do you get the idea, this looks much nicer, I would say, but I was, didn't, don't think we should use golden, background today if you don't have a shiny like a board plexi board or whatever it's called then you can create your own by adding water now we have water and if i place the project inside the water right now what will happen? Let's take a shot. Because I'm still... The only flash still we're using is the one in the same angle as the camera. Let's turn it, the power up and move it out of the frame like that. Take a shot. You see? But we have all these uh, backgrounds and everything. So probably it's not the best spot. But you get my point. It's, it's about, it's the same thing like um, food photography. All the food photographers, they always like to stand by a window. Window, food, camera. The same angle, you know, window down, you get specular highlights on the food and it looks very nice and uh, you, you like, you want to eat it, yeah? Let's place the flash closer because I don't want to have this I don't want to have this big uh, flat surface I would like to have a spot then we need to make it smaller so I think we should move it closer which one should we use this one this is a pro photo d2 you can use any flash of course this is sort of the same angle the guide light let's take a shot see what happens that's interesting you see it's the reflection because water is highly reflective so it makes a perfect mirror of the, the it's like a mirror yeah what to do when you have highly reflective surface we need to diffuse the light as usual okay so let's take a diffuser and uh, place it in between the flash and the product what do we get wow Look at this. Now it's starting to look kind of interesting. Yes, it's a bit too dark. We can always put up the flash power. Let's take another one. Wow. Wow. Because now we will get to see this spot. Diffusing, diffusing frame I have, it's a bit too small. We need to put on another one. But as you see, now we will get a spot from the flash. And because uh, it's in the right angle, we will see the perfume shining up. So let's put on a bigger one. My old scabby, trusty diffusion. By the way, if you're not subscribing, something like this, maybe. We leave the flash as it was. Now we have a bigger diffusion that will cover the whole. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe somewhere around there. Yes, that's nice. But what can we do now when we have water? Maybe we can play a bit with the water. What will happen if I just freaking out a bit? You see my finger there. But that can, we can always retouch out if you just, wow, I love this. You know, water is so great to work with because it, look, it always looks fantastic. Do we need some more lights? You see? Maybe we need a bit here on the neck because it's very dark because it's beautiful, this golden 
mini chain or something, whatever it is. So I think we should put up another flash because we have other flashes and then I think we should use them. Yeah. So let's take another flash over here, turn it on and let's not go too crazy with the power. Now it's on quite low power and put on the guide light. See, it looks like it will hit the neck. Let's take a shot. It's nice on the neck, bit overexposed but we get a lot of flares in the glass and everywhere. Maybe we can put on the honeycomb grid and it will spot the light a bit, focus the light on the neck. Yes, maybe we actually need a bit more light. Then I will, I will go to F11 actually. And now maybe we, this looks very nice when you just hitting the bottle. It makes this, uh, <whistles> looks very beautiful. But it will be nice with some uh, drops and stuff, but it's a bit plain in the picture. Maybe we can play a bit with shadows, with this kind of, you know. It's just a foam board, you can find it everywhere, everywhere. By the way, this is what I use to make my diffusion frames, because it's always, always a pain in the... I make this once. Uh, it's actually my photographer friend uh, Hans who was here. I saw he made this kind of frame. So, so this is actually the same. And then just cut out the frame. And then this, actually this one is with the glue on one side. You cut out the frame and then you, you glue the diffusion material. It doesn't have to be the thick one, savage. You can use just a regular uh, diffusion. Shadows. Let's play with shadows. Now we're starting to mess up this nice spot. Uh, holding it in front of the flash head. Yeah. If you like to have a sharper edge, then we can place it as close as possible to the bottle. Now we're starting to get like a sharper edge there. Close as possible. I'll put in this into the clamp. And what do we get? That's kind of cool, yeah? It's a bit messy, but it doesn't really matter right now because we will mess it up with water. I think it will look very interesting to break this, um, this sharp edge with some water action. You can just see how it looks now if I'm just dropping this bottle. Hope I not break it. You see? <laughs> Very cool. Now there is something more going on. The water right now is black and white, you know. I mean, it's gray. Gray, black. Let's go crazy and make everything golden. CTO. Color temperature orange filter. Gel. And we can put this in front of the flash. Just uh, maybe it's a quarter. Yeah, quarter CTO orange. I think we need more than one layer, actually. I think we need to cut out one piece. So now we have this piece. I will double it by folding it. And let's take a shot, to see what happens with double. The question is, is it nicer or is it not? So, golden. I think it's kind of cool. Maybe it's easier to see when I do a... Uh... Yeah, it looks more luxury, doesn't it? There we have the picture, but I want to have some splashes, I think. And there is focus. You can't, what you can work with, um, you can work with air. This is canned air. If I just blowing, it's also a bit cool, yeah? The problem here is that you really need to have a friend helping you out with this. Because um, if you want to have these uh, waves, some splash and press the camera, you know, it's very, very hard to do this by yourself. So maybe at the end, I will combine different exposures in Photoshop. I would like to test to pour some water on the top. Maybe it can be cool if the bottle a bit on the sniss gun on the side. Let's start to pour some water on this. Mm -hmm. You see this, uh, they are frozen because we have this fantastic pro photo flash. I would like to have a bit more action. Now I think we will have something, yeah? Please 
subscribe if you like this because if you do then you have not only the chance to come here and record the next sub choice together with me you will also have the chance to see more videos i really hope next one will be a real sub choice with the subscribers one of you okay so don't forget if you'd like to join join at botuson.se okay see you next